boy guys look at all that tea today we have both an oddly hilarious situation and a collectively mean-spirited one this one will hit you different depending on who you are but i think it's important to talk about so let's get into it to recap you have gabby hannah she's in the same bracket as trisha paytas and tana mojo monthly meltdowns like i'm not fucking crazy really cringy music videos stir up my insecurity with constant uncertainty generation of anxiety the look at me society dubai the piety the god dude this shit sucks another side you have these tea channels they're the same as commentary channels, except they will take the smallest, most irrelevant thing and turn it into a big deal. You remember when Leafy got in trouble for paying Nick Cash $20 to do an intro for him? Yeah, pretty stupid drama, right? Well, I found something that tops that. The journalist started off the article by claiming no one greeted her at the door, she was shouted at to come inside, and had to walk through Gabby's mansion trying to find where everyone was. I'm sorry, that is so awkward. Like, going to someone's house for the first time is awkward enough, but then you're left to play Where's Gabby? Oh no, Gabby's a bad host. I hope she doesn't invite me over to her house next. These are the level of people we're dealing with. Now, it's no secret that I love dumb drama. Dream cheating in Minecraft? Hilarious. Hating a guy for explaining memes? Hilarious. Putting someone's death on another creator even though there is no correlation? Not so funny. This specific situation started when Gabby Hanna uploaded a video titled Transforming into a TikTok e-girl. This is the controversial clip. This outfit right here is you already straight wear. up what I wore from seventh grade to college. And now. And now, <laughs> I do have that shirt. The average person who would look at that clip would say, well, what's the problem? Seems normal enough. Here's the twist. That girl's face that's blurred is Bianca Devins. She was tragically murdered in 2019. Terribly unfortunate thing. My heart goes out to the family. But what does that have to do with Gabby Hanna? All she did was compliment Bianca's t-shirt. So realistically, nothing. But of course, not according to the T-Channels. They gotta make Gabby Hanna look as bad as possible at all times. Now that is such a thing to do. To look at a victim and be like oh yeah that that t-shirt's nice I, I would love to dress like that yeah i remember dressing like that yeah we'll use that for the e-girl video and just forgetting to mention the fact that that is literally a girl that isn't here anymore oh it just blows my mind how unaware she is of how of a human being she is not only do you have her face in the original video with the article but you chose her as an aesthetic i'm so disgusted every time i talk about gabby hannah the word disgusted comes out of my mouth so gabby hannah is making this video and pulls up an article a full-on article uh that shows bianca devins the disrespect was on another level is any of that very fair to say about gabby for just complimenting a shirt because of these exposed videos made on her attention was drawn to bianca's family who started to receive pictures of when she was murdered seeing this gabby uploaded an apology video so the drama would end and the family would be left alone the death of her daughter is being like plastered across the internet like this. I didn't want to put that on her. The T-channels patted themselves on the back. Justice was served. In my specific video, I said that I wanted to see just two things. I wanted to see an apology, and I would like to see her remove the clip from her video. And what we got was an apology, and I believe she took the video completely down. That's what I wanted to see. One problem, Gabby took the fall for something that wasn't her fault. If the T-channels didn't turn a t-shirt compliment into a big deal, the family would have never been sent those pictures. The family uploaded a video echoing that same sentiment. No one should be offended. No one should be, all these drama channels that are, you know, using Bianca for clout, it's absolutely ridiculous that's because that's all you're doing. We are offended about and you guys also should be. Yeah, not you know. about Gabby Hanna complimenting her shirt. So yes, this was 100% the T-Channel's fault. And the videos they made were so dishonest. All of these T-Channels are saying that Gabby Hanna is recklessly using a murder victim in her video. How do they come to that conclusion? Well, because Gabby Hanna didn't read the article. How could you miss that after editing the video even and putting a screen capture of the photo with the article next to it? This is ironic because I'd argue the T-Channels didn't read the article either. None of these channels even show the article once for context, but they'll tell you all about it. The whole article next to it was about that girl and how she was by someone that she met on Discord. It's by Vox. It's titled E-Girls and E-Boys Explained. Talks about what they are, shows some pictures, and then shows Bianca Devins with a short paragraph talking about her death. It genuinely makes sense how Gabby could miss this one paragraph. It's not the murder article that the T-Channels are claiming it is. I mean, she has a legitimate murder article. Um... She's pulling it up as examples for a video. Oh, it just blows my mind how unaware she is of how 
of a human being she is. Incredible how they're willing to say all this terrible shit about someone without even showing the full article on screen in their videos. They provide no context and I think it's because they never looked it up. They don't even do the most basic research for their video. Oddly enough, Rubzilla does have the article linked in the description of his video. He just chose not to show it. He just chose to leave out context. It really does make me question the honesty in his videos. Now, either way, this all should have ended when Bianca's mother, Kim, uploaded a video telling people to leave Gabby alone. We didn't feel disrespected. We don't feel Bianca would have been disrespected. We think Bianca would have been honored and so excited that yes. Gabby Hanna pulled up her picture and was talking about her. So we think what you guys should be offended by is number one, these people using this simple Google search and bring up Bianca's um, picture is now other people want to bring about drama and use Bianca's death for clout. Stop with this ridiculous being offended by every little thing. So you'd think they'd all take down their videos and apologize to Gabby Hanna, but of course not. This is the tea community. All of their videos are still up, slander and all. When Gabby rightfully stands up for herself saying that she needs an apology for how she was depicted and the mother echoes that same thing saying, Gabby deserves the apologies after I put out I wasn't offended. She fully supports Gabby's video by the way. So now you gotta finally own up, right? I mean, end of the road. You got away with it long enough but no and i am not kidding they turn around and attack the mother and then continue to blame gabby doesn't anyone else think this is a fake account by gabby look at the account only 15 followers including gabby started the account 2019 talks exactly like gabby would not a 40 plus mom tags gabby and now apparently knows the youtube world i'm not buying it yo what is she smoking because it's laced she made the original video and is now trying to put it on the drama channels no gabby hand you exploited the death of someone. You deserve to get dragged by everyone for profiting off the death of someone. She's lying to you. The drama channels stop when you ask them to. Leaving your shitty slanderous videos up isn't the drama channels leaving it alone or following the mother's wishes. It's them getting away with a crime. It's them avoiding that same accountability that they try and hold people to every fucking day on their channels. Repzilla, whose video we've already watched, says, I removed my earlier tweets about the Gabby Hanna situation out of respect for Kim Devins and her family. I don't want to contribute or perpetuate negativity in any way and fully believe that both sides are in the wrong and want to encourage others to take this route. Both sides are not in the wrong. The mother didn't do anything wrong here. Gabby didn't do anything wrong here. You did. So take responsibility the same way you want Gabby to in your 12 plus videos on her. Reminder, Gabby is doing this for the family yet has not tweeted the petition or linked to the foundation. This was never about the family. This was always about Gabby. Gabby actually has tweeted and linked the foundation in her video. So if that's just wrong, these people just make stuff up. But nobody in my opinion is a bigger weasel in this whole situation than Angelica Oles. She says, I never used Bianca's name for clout. Not in my title, not in my my thumbnail, not in my tags. I reported on a story that many people sent in. No one from Bianca's family reached out to ask for her apology, so my assumption was that they didn't want one slash didn't want to continue dragging this on. Not sure why I'm the main topic of the video when there are other drama channels that actually put Bianca's face in their thumbnails. Oh wait, it's cause Gabby has an agenda. She continues to blame Gabby instead of just owning up. And because these people have no self-awareness skills whatsoever, of course it comes out that she did use Bianca's name in the thumbnail nail, even though she said she didn't. She responded by saying, it has come to my attention that I have Bianca's name in my thumbnail. This was not for clout or attention, but I could see how it could be used in that way. So both have been blurred. Thanks for bringing this to my attention. You gotta love how easily she gives herself the benefit of the doubt. Like maybe if you did that same thing for Gabby, you wouldn't be in this situation. But nope, benefit of the doubt only reserved for Angelica. I'm pretty sure she is the real life inspiration for the mean girl from Rugrats. I think we have a serious problem in the drama community when it comes to beating people while they're down. We rarely give them time to reflect, cope, and recover. Instead, we just beat them over and over again. Angelica is well aware of this being a problem, and she even says at the end of her third Gabby video, Can we stop giving her the attention that she oh so desperately wants? If we stop giving her the attention, maybe she'll finally stop. I say that as I'm filming a video about her, I know, slightly contradicting, slightly hypocritical. I feel like if we bring attention to it very quickly, we can all just as a collective decide to now stop. We can all just as a collective decide to stop. I think that's fair. Say your piece and move on. She then posts 24 more videos on Gabby Hanna, seven of which are in the last 
six weeks? Now, to be fair to her, she did say that if Gabby kept screwing up, that she would keep making videos. And oh boy, are these some of the most overly sensationalized, overly exaggerated videos I've seen on this website. They twist it in a way where it becomes a completely different story. Reality, Gabby Hanna makes a video promoting overly priced cheap brushes for $10. That somehow gets twisted into Gabby is a psychopath that takes advantage of minimum wage workers. Which is usually a f***ing lie because that's what she is. She's a pathological liar. She's a psychopath. I, oh my god. You sold shitty f***ing brushes and then told people that spend money on them to manage their expectations. I'm sorry, Gabby, but not everyone's a f***ing millionaire from making videos some people have minimum wage jobs and they trusted you when you said those are really good quality brushes for ten dollars and they bought them and what did they get a scam guys i think she bought a brush here's another one here's another one reality gabby gets attacked by a fan for her eating disorder so gabby decides to roast them back that somehow gets turned into gabby's now exposing somebody's private instagram even though they came at her first someone pointed out that what she's doing is promoting an eating disorder which like i don't necessarily agree with the fan i don't think gabby handles promoting an eating disorder but everyone has the right to express an opinion so i'm doing right here right now and she took that comment and put it on her instagram story and got her fans to go send hate to that person because that's what happens when you're a big youtuber you have to understand that when you do that when you pinpoint a negative comment people are going to go and send death threats to that person and again she doesn't even show the original exchange between gabby hannah and the fan absolutely no context is given we just have to believe her what angelica is saying is that creators are responsible for their own audience she's trying to hold gabby accountable for what her fans did okay but when gabby tries to hold angelica responsible for her audience and what they did to the family I didn't read the fucking article. I was looking at pictures. And you knew that, Angelica Oles. And everybody else who started that rumor and went with that story and exploited a murdered teenager to the point that her dead body, the photos of her dead body that were taken by her murderer and posted on the internet were being sent to her fucking mother and sister. Let me guess, that's not fair when it happens to you? What, you get the benefit of the doubt again? Angelica, that's messed up you would let your audience do that. According to you, creators are responsible for their audience. Now, personally, I think if you have an audience of thousands, statistically speaking, you're gonna have a few crazy people in there. You can't control them. They're still their own person. But at the same time, you gotta practice what you preach. You dug your own grave, now sleep in it. When the water started to get hot, people started to notice that these news channels don't even have the basic courtesy to correct an old story. Angelica reached out to the mother to try and get a statement from her that she didn't do anything wrong. She posted this as proof, which is why I said I didn't think you harmed my family. What this doesn't show is the advice the mother actually gave her. She revealed to Gabby, I also told Angelica Oles that I thought you were owed an apology, not me. I thought that Bianca was being used to get to you. Damn, Angelica, where's that DM? I'd love to read that one. Not this irrelevant ass shit. So when I spoke to her, I asked her if she was comfortable with me showing screenshots of bits of the conversation just to give context. And she said no, because she doesn't want this to then be receipts and drama. Probably because she doesn't want you to twist that shit to go after Gabby more than you already have. In fact, the mother knew you were trying to be dishonest, so she told Gabby your intentions. She kept saying what I was telling her didn't line up with what you said, like she was trying to get me to change my story. And what's funny is she still shares them. So I will be kind of like using the messages as a guide, uh, but not really reading them out necessarily. So just kind of have to, you know, Trust me on that one. Ha! I mean, you might as well read them at that point, right? You're already going against her wishes, sharing bits of the conversation as receipts against Gabby. Just fucking show them then. It reminds me of when Nick said the T-channels don't care about the families and the mom replied with, thank you. Shit, Angelica, you think she's talking about you? She has the balls to then say, this is my last statement on the situation, as if this clears her name in any way. This is what running away from responsibility looks like. It's incredible that she's made a career criticizing people. Angelica, I have some genuine advice that I want to give you. You make news videos, you say yourself that you report stories. If you're a news channel, that means people take your words seriously. So when you spew off your shitty opinions because you say you can, and subjective means subjective. I have multiple times in multiple videos now said the word subjective. Subjective 
being an opinion. Therefore, I couldn't have presented things as fact if I used the word subjective, because that then just contradicts itself. Um, these are all my opinions, by the way. So if you don't agree, that's cool. And Gabby, if you're watching this, my opinion, allegedly, you know, all those things. Yeah, every other news and drama channel backs up their stupid opinion with context, being videos or pictures. Citing things to back up your opinion is literally one of the first things you learn in elementary school. It's a common courtesy to your own audience, to the person you're making the video on, to show the context. Angelica, however, will go on for 20 minutes in the same video without providing a single image to what she's talking about. Sometimes she means to add in context with images, but I think she just forgets. I'm gonna put them up on the screen right now. And then... <gasps> Angelica, did you miss something in editing? Why, well, I mean, isn't that the same thing you criticized Gabby for? If that was me, I would have just cut it out the video, even if you didn't realize. Editing you should have realized that that is such a thing to do. I think we need to have a bit of a conversation when it comes to dogpiling the same creator over and over again. You say it's in the name of holding them accountable, but if they haven't changed their ways by video 14, what will make video 27 do it? Nobody deserves to live their life under a microscope. The situation is very black and white. You guys are clearly in the wrong. Just apologize and move on. It's that easy. Fuck. I don't know what it is with Gabby Hanna, but I'm kind of tired of it. Uh, this this is the last straw. I'm tired. I'll continue to talk about it because I think, uh, you know, if I don't, who will? Shut the fuck up You're a fucking cunt Shut the fuck up You're a stupid cunt Suck my dick Shut the fuck up